Добър ден, ученици! Добре дойдовте на още един онлайн час по английски язик на менец за учениците от 9-то отделение. Я съм Елена Белеска, наставник по английски язик от Основното училище Манчумата от Кривогащани. Днешната тема, коя ще ке разработиме, е именувана The world we live in or the environment. When we talk about the world we live in, we actually talk about the environment. Светот во кој што живееме или животната средина. Како цели за овој час ги идентификува в следните. Students should learn new vocabulary, words and phrases related to the environment and environmental issues. To talk about the causes and the effects of the environmental issues and to practice the new vocabulary by using it in sentences. Значи на часот треба односно нова и краток онлайн час, треба да научите нови зборови и изрази поврзани со животната средина и проблемите поврзани со животната средина, да научите како да дискутирате и да зборувате за причините и последиците предизвикани од проблемите во животната средина и да го употребувате новиот вокабулар и новите фрази кои што ќе ги научите во реченици. Let's start! The world we live in or the environment. Environment is a noun which can be defined as the world, the place where we live, the natural world around us. Environment е именка, која што значи животна средина. Ако на оваа именка и додадеме соодветни наставки, може од неа да се изведат придавки и други именки кои што ќе имаат значење поврзано со именката за животна средина, а го збогатуваат вокабуларот кога зборуваме на оваа тема. So, if we add the, uh, the suffix al, we get the uh, adjective environmental. Environmental related to the environment. The adjective environmental is found in a phrase, the in the phrase environmental issues, which means problems that exist within the environment. Global warming is one of the environmental issues. Problemi povrzani so životnata sredina. Environmental issues. Another adjective is the adjective environmentally, again meaning related to the environment. And we find this adjective in the phrase environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly is something that is good for the environment. For example, recycling is environmentally friendly. And finally, the noun environmentalist uh, environmentalist is a person who really cares about the environment and raises the awareness of the environmental issues. Greta Thunberg is a famous environmentalist. She is a teenager and she has been recently very popular. После секој слайд со наведени зборови и дефиниции, ке имаме слайд со примери на реченици во кои што се употребени зборовите. Може да запирате после секој слайд да си ги запишувате новите зборови, речениците и примерите во кои што се тие употребени. What environmental issue are you concerned about? Fossil fuel companies have tried to damage the image of environmentalists and climate scientists. Are we doing enough to protect the environment? Cycling is an environmentally friendly form of transport. Next, we go on, we continue uh, with the vocabulary related to the environment. Climate, klima, the general weather conditions usually found in a particular place. Ozone layer, ozonska obvivka, layer of air above the earth which prevents harmful ultraviolet lights from the sun reaching the earth and uh, with ozone layer we usually find the word depletion depletion of the ozone layer depletion meaning um, used up iskoristuvanje uh, istrošuvanje ili namaluvanje na ozonskata obvivka razgraduvanje na ozonskata obvivka and rainforest 
rainforest, dozdovna šuma, dense green moist forest that is mostly found in the tropics. And with the rainforest, with the word rainforest, we find the word destruction. Destruction of the rainforest is a phrase commonly found uh, when you talk ab about uh, the, the environment. Na makedonski uništuvanje na doždovnite šumi. Examples. The climate here is cold and wet. Ozone layer protects, protects us from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Save the rainforests. The depletion of the ozone layer causes the global warming. Uh, we go on with the topic of environmental issues. Prodolžujeme so temata problemi vo životnata sredina. One environmental issue is the pollution, zagaduvanje. The waste, the garbage, the rubbish that is being produced. The pollution can be water pollution, zagaduvanje na vodata, air pollution, zagaduvanje na vozduhod, land pollution, zagaduvanje na počvata, and noise pollution, vreva, bučava ili zagaduvanje so bučava, koje što se sretnuva v golemite gradovi. All the pollution around here comes from factories and mines. Land pollution is a threat to food security. Air pollution creates poor air quality. Water pollution is a huge problem and unclean water is a major threat to human health. Noise pollution is a problem in big cities. Other environmental issues include depletion of the ozone layer mentioned previously, meaning reduction of the ozone layer. Smog, smog, similar to fog, it makes it hard for you to breathe. Smog decreases air quality. Deforestation ili uništuvanje i sečenje na šumite, cutting down many trees, water shortage is another environmental issue, uh, lack of water ili nedostatok na voda. The smog was so bad that we had to wear air, air filter masks. As trees are cut down for wood or burned to clear the land for farming, deforestation is another environmental issue. Water shortage affects every continent at least one month out of every year. We go on or continue with the topic of environmental issues. Acid rain, kisel dosht, rain that contains chemicals, carbon dioxide and acid that causes things to deteriorate and break down. The following three uh, environmental issues are closely related to each other. Greenhouse gases, štetni gasovi, climate change, klimatski promeni, global warming, globalno zatopluvanje. By burning fossil fuels, uh, human produce, uh, uh, man produces uh, greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases cause climate change and a type of climate change is global warming greenhouse gases climate change global warming climate change can destroy the life on earth burning fossil fuels in one country can cause acid rain in other countries Rising sea levels, melting ice caps and coral leaf bleaching are caused by global warming. The more greenhouse gases we produce, the worse climate change will get. So, we said previously global warming is a type of climate change and this type of climate change causes temperatures, uh, rising temperatures, melting icebergs and rising sea levels. Klimatskite promeni predizvikuvat globalno zatopluvanje koje pa kot svoja strana predizvikuva pokačuvanje na temperaturite, topenje na ledenite pregovi i pokačuvanje na nivoto na moret. These three changes caused by global warming they on their side cause natural disasters 
Natural disaster, prirodna katastrofa. An event in nature that causes a lot of damage. Natural disasters can be in form of fire, znači može da pitat kako požar, flood, poplava, earthquake, zemljotres, cyclone, ciklon. Fossil fuels mentioned previously are uh, the reason why greenhouse gases appear. They are form of natural energy such as gas, oil or coal that can be used up. Fossil fuels can be used up and that's why they are called non-renewable energy. Fossilnite goriva znači se iskoristuvaat, se trošat i zato se narekuvaat neobnovljivi izvori na energija. On the other hand, we have solar power, the power produced by using the solar energy, and wind power, the power produced by using the power of the wind. This type this two type of energy, uh, two types of energy, solar power and wind power are so-called renewable energy. They can, uh, they are not depleted or used up when you are using them. Znači, tije se ne se trošat kako fosilnite koriva, tuku se obnovljivi izvori na energija. They are renewable energy and they are environmentally friendly. Burning fossil fuels is a major cause of global warming. We are producing cheaper renewable energy these days. Wind power and solar power are alternative sources of energy. Uh, here you can see four more words related to the topic of the environment. Habitat ili živealište, a place where someone lives. Wildlife, div svet, animals, birds, fish that are neither human nor domesticated. Endangered, zagrozen, i najčesto će go najdete so imenkata animals, endangered animals, or endangered species, zagrozeni vidovi, in danger of becoming extinct. And the word extinct, the adjective extinct, meaning something that no longer exists. Nešto što veke ne postoji extinct uh, species are dinosaurs, for example, are extinct. They, are, they no longer exist on earth. Many wildlife habitats will be destroyed if man keeps polluting the environment. Every year, more animals are listed as endangered species. Lots of Australian animals have become extinct since the British took control. Lots of animals will be extinct, will become extinct if their natural habitats are destroyed. I love taking pictures of wildlife in the forest. Uh, we discussed some topics related to the environment, some topics related to the uh, environmental issues. Now we shall say something about how to take care of the environment. Znači, da vidime kako se grižime za životnata sredina, odnosno naša zadača je da kažeme nekoliko zborovi povrzani so temata za griža za životnata sredina, koji što možete vi se najdat kako korisni za časovite po angliski jazik. Reduce, use less of something. Reuse, find another use for something or use it again. And recycle, convert waste into reusable material. These are so called the three R's. Reduce namali, reuse upotrebi povtorno ili reupotrebi, recycle recikliraj. Other ways uh, that we can, in which we can contribute to the taking care of the environment are planting trees in order to save forests and uh, using renewable sources of energy. The green beans for things that can be recycled like paper and glass. You can reduce your household waste by buying products with less packaging. We try to reuse things like plastic bags and bottles. Isto tako postojati glagoli povrzani so ova tema, ko što 
ќе ви се најдат како корисни кога би изборувале на темата за животна средина. Cut down, meaning to reduce the number or amount of something. Намалува. We mustn't cut down trees. Cut down on, to reduce the number or amount, amount of something. Повторно намалува. Factories need to cut down on the amount of pollution they produce. Turn off, to stop a piece of equipment working in temporar temporarily by pressing a button or by moving a switch. Намалува, односно изклучува. Remember to turn off the lights when you leave a room. Turn down, to reduce the amount of sound, heat or light produced by a piece of equipment by pressing a button or moving a switch. Намалува, we should turn down the thermostat. Look into, to examine the facts about a problem or situation. Разгледува. We need to look into alternative sources of energy. Или изтражува. Set up, to start. It is important to set up recycling centers. Основа, започнува. Harm, to hurt someone or damage something. Ощетува, нащетува. Pollution harms the environment. In danger, put someone or something at risk or in danger, загрозува. Natural disasters endanger the habitats of some animals. And threaten, cause someone or something to be at risk. Zakanuva ili naštetuva. Melting icebergs threaten to cause great floods. Se zakanuva so nešto. Kako što kaževme na početokot, ке зборуваме, односно ке ви предочам некои начини на кои што може полесно да се организирате кога зборувате за климата и за животната средина и проблемите поврзани со животната средина. Обично кога зборуваме за проблеми во врска со животната средина, зборуваме за causes, причини, and effects, последици од действата кои што предизвикуваат опасност по животната средина. Throwing rubbish into the ocean is a cause. Water pollution is the effect of this cause. Burning fossil fuels and deforestation are causes. Air pollution and habitat loss are the effects. In order to speak on this topic, we need to link the causes and the effects. Значи, треба на некој начин да ги поврзиме причините и последиците за успешно да разговараме на оваа тема. Подолу ви се дадени примери како можете да го направите тоа. Throwing rubbish into the ocean causes water pollution. Throwing rubbish into the ocean leads to water pollution. Throwing rubbish into the ocean results in water pollution. Во овие три примери почнуваме со причината за проблемот, а потоа го наведуваме ефектот. Но може да ги почнеме речениците и обратно, да ги наведиме најпрво ефектите, а потоа да зборуваме за причините. Water pollution is caused by throwing rubbish into the ocean. Water pollution is a result of throwing rubbish into the ocean. Water pollution is due to throwing rubbish into the ocean. Water pollution is an effect of throwing rubbish into the ocean. Вие може да го стопирате видеото и да пробате, на пример, за burning fossil fuels and air pollution, да набравите вакви реченици. Следно. За крај, ја имаме вежбата во која што треба да ги пополните десетте дадени реченици со десетте дадени зборови. Овие се првите пет реченици. Погледнете ги. А ова се другите пет реченици. Може да го стопирате видеото, да го вратите малку назад и да пробате да пополните со дадените зборови. Ајде да провериме. 1. The dinosaurs are no longer with us. They became extinct many years ago. 2. The tiger is an endangered animal. Each year there are fewer of them left alive than before. 3. 
The factory has polluted the river. 4. Many countries are looking into ways of using renewable energy, such as wind, solar, and energy that comes from the waves in the sea. 5. The greenhouse effect is caused by harmful gases known as greenhouse gases. 6. Acid rain is rain that is harmful to the environment because it contains acid from factory smoke. 7. All over the world, wildlife is being threatened because habitats are being destroyed. Glass, cans, paper and plastic can, be, can all be recycled. The ozone layer pro protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays. 10. A person who wants to protect the environment is called environmentalist. I hope that you did well in this exercise. I hope that you are satisfied with your answers. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and uh, that you have learned something new. Se nadevam deka uživavte na časot, deka naučivte nešto novo. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.